These are my newest arrivals. These are Fajaca Puffers. And for those of you who know about Fajaca Puffers, you know I'm in for a definite uh, uphill battle. This is day two that they've been here. They love this tad the tadpole snails, or bladder snails, as they're called. Uh, let's see. These little guys right here. And so I might set up this as a refugium and breed these suckers like crazy. Um, haven't named them yet. Probably gonna wait a little bit longer. I am looking at different names. I'm not gonna tell you what they are. Um, I did put in a wonder crystal or wonder wonder shell, which. are uh, excellent for conditioning the water and adding in um, gosh darn it uh, the various mil minerals and calcium and, and ions and stuff like that um, for these guys there is a little bit of fin damage um, so they've, they've got a heel. The one in front, the, uh, dorsal fin is, is been nipped, and the one in back, that, uh, flipper there is, uh, has been munched. But that, that's actually been, I can actually see a little stub there now. <laughs> uh, they've been eating the the snails, like I said. Um, there's some... I bought some frozen krill. And so that's what that is. They've kind of been eating that, but they really prefer the snails. Um, um, the little kitties that were... Uh, the little convict cichlids that were in here have been moved over here. You little monsters. Oh, they're terrible. Um, the one that had its tail munched off from the uh, cichlid tank, that's grown back most of the way anyway. So, um, and I have kept the uh, clown plucko in here. Um, just for a little bit longer. They really haven't bothered one another. Um, now, of course, as time goes by, they're definitely, you know, they're right now they're in the five gallon because the five gallon is completely cycled, clean, fresh. Um, I can treat it if they have any problems. Um, so that's why they're in the five gallon for now, but I will be definitely move them on up especially as they get bigger, but they're actually um, being personal today. Yesterday, when I first got them home, I was a little worried because they were really hiding and clustering and not not wanting to eat. They weren't swimming very well. They were kind of sort of flipping upside down and doing really funky stuff. So today they've actually been swimming with a purpose and uh, be nice to your brother. And um, I really hope they, they learn to grow up together and get along and um, I read somewhere on one of the forums that there's like if you raise them together from itty bitty tiny ones um, they have like a 70% chance of not killing each other when they get gr bigger. So hopefully these guys will be buddies that may very well eventually go into the big, big, big tank, which 135 gallons would be more than adequate for two of them. So. 